So I'm just doing a little bit of battery testing here at the moment. I've got these large Odyssey batteries, which I wanna see what sort of condition they're in. Uh, these were kindly donated by a member of our club for a repeater project that we've got, but they are a couple of years old. They've been on float for quite a long time. They haven't had or seen a lot of use, but we still need to check the capacity to see what they're like before we go and put them in. And that's where I got this little gadget. This is a DL24, I think A-Torch is the brand. This came from AliExpress and everything that I show you will be in the description if you wanna pick one of these up. This has a little uh, heat sink that you could see there and if you zoom in, or if I, sorry, if I zoom in, you can see there that there is a little load underneath there. See underneath the heat sink? That is got some thermal paste attached to the heat sink. This is a little 150 watt uh, load board basically. And what this does is this can allow us to draw constant current out of the battery or power supply or whatever we're testing and up to 150 watts. And we can measure and see what the capacity of the battery is. So if I go and power this up, it's powered by USB-C here at the back or 12 volts, I think, um, through that little jack there at the back. So if you plug the battery in here, it actually won't power on. You actually physically need to run it off this other power supply. So let's plug that in and if I can find where the slot is. The fan starts up. It'll ask you here what language. So we'll select English. And there's actually a QR code there that says that you can go to the user menu and software. Now this also has Bluetooth in it and it also has a PC USB port here on the side, which is a USB-C. So you can plug this up to your computer or you can hook it up to your phone. I haven't used that software yet. I've just been going off what's been happening here on the front, but I believe that you can do that. I haven't dug into it deep enough, but do your research and, uh, and see if it's what you uh, would probably need when you're testing these kind of things. Now it's interesting, it actually came with this little header board and this has like a DC jack on it, a couple of USB ports there. You could see USB-C, USB micro. You can plug that into the header here. This is the test header. So you can measure your power sources coming out of there. It's also got this DC jack to USB-C uh, right angle adapter. I'm not quite sure what that's used for. But if we just flip it over, you can see there that on that header, you've got A plus and A minus. That's basically your high current um, source or your battery or your power supply under test. And then you've got V plus and V minus. So the way that you wire it up is you wire up your battery here on the A plus and A minus current uh, terminals. And you can loop back into the voltage ports on the header here if you want to that will then measure your voltage and I'll hook this up and show you you can do that but then you're going to be measuring the voltage drop at this point so what I've got is I've got a separate lead which runs off to the battery and then I don't need to worry about uh, that when it's under load so 150 watts roughly with a 13 or 12 volt battery that's uh, roughly about 10 amps is 120 watts. So that gives us a nice safety margin. I believe it also does have power cutoff. So if you go over 150 watts, then uh, it'll do a warning and shut down. It'll do uh, constant current mode. And I think you can select uh, constant current, constant voltage, resistance and power. So for most of the tests that I've been doing, I've just been using constant current. So you select a current there at the top and you can select through what current you want. So two amps, three amps, four amps. You can also dial it right down to like point whatever of an amp. And usually I'll set this to 10 amps that's a, a nice round figure that we can use. And then you've also got a cutoff voltage or you've got also got a time discharge. So you could discharge it for a certain amount of time or you can discharge it down to a certain voltage. And here there's a timing down the bottom here. Uh, you've got your voltage, your current, your power, your energy consumed and the capacity. So it calculates all that for you. So it's all very neat. So I'm gonna test this Odyssey battery. I've got a few of them here 
Here's one of them which is currently being charged. I use these Victron Blue Smart Chargers. I've got a 5 amp version and a 25 amp version. These are great. If you've ever used these before, these Victrons, um, they will do um, the AGM, flood cell, flooded cells, seal lead acids. They'll do LiPo4 as well. They've got a lithium ion mode as well. IP65 waterproof. Yeah, this one's the 25 amp. Um, it also has Bluetooth as well, so you can see on the screen what's going on. Um, it'll show you all of the stats, but that's pumping 25 amps into that battery, which I've just... Uh, just tested so I've got two more to test I'm gonna test this one now um, and then I've also got this lead time battery as well this is a lipo 4 battery which is going to be a little bit different because this has got a BMS in it this is a 200 amp hour lead time battery that uh, they've sent through to have a look at so we're going to test the capacity of that at some point um, which is going to be funny because that's 200 amp hours this thing drawing 10 amps it's gonna take a while to actually get that battery uh, discharged down. Okay, I've hooked up now a couple of things here. Unfortunately, because these lugs uh, on the battery are rather large, I can't actually fit the lugs over that I've got in my test setup, but that's okay. I've just jammed them in here between a couple of washers and they'll be fine for carrying the current. Uh, so I've got one set here. So this is my uh, one set of leads coming off the positive and negative of the battery through this fuse block here and down and into my voltage. So we're reading 13.1 volts there at the moment. And then I've got my high current um, leads which come off here and go into for testing. So I've set it up so I've got 10 amps. And what we're going to do is basically hit go. And that'll start up, that'll ramp up to 10 amps. And we can start uh, test start the test so you can see here there is uh, the times now going up the capacity is going up the energy is going up so we'll leave that running now for a couple of hours come back and see what it's at all right our test has been going now for just over an hour an hour and 10 minutes almost the battery voltage is at 12.3 I just bumped it up to 11 amps just to speed things up a little bit so we're drawing 135 watts now and we've done the capacity so far, we've done 150 watt hours and 12,000 milliamp hours or 12 amps. So that's so good. That test is looking pretty good. So what we're going to do is keep running this until it gets to about 11.7 volts. That's what I ran the, uh, the previous one for. And we'll see how much capacity we've used at 11.7 volts. And then what we can do is we can uh, work out from there what the capacity of the battery should be. So um, yeah, good little device to have to test out your batteries. I've got a couple of other batteries uh, that I mentioned before, a little 50 amp hour lie time battery over here that I wanna test as well, uh, test the BMS when it cuts out. If you wanna see a review on this battery, it's a great little battery, nice and lightweight, unlike this massive big AGM battery, then there'll be a link to the video for this battery here on the screen right now to check it out.